Atelier Interactive Professional Artist Acrylics offers artists creative freedom, the freedom to paint the way they want, when they want. Because of its patented formulation, artists have the option of developing their painting using their traditional fast drying acrylic painting techniques, plus they can also explore new slow drying wet and wet blending techniques. All you need to do is simply replace that lost moisture by using a water sprayer or a brush dipped in water. I find that by using my water sprayer, a brush dipped in water, or even a brush dipped in medium, I often have about three hours where I can work wet and wet in my studio. But what if it's the next day, or even a few days later? Well, at that point, I have a few different options on how I want to develop my acrylic painting. I can use all my traditional overpainting techniques. I can do a little bit of scumbling. Maybe I want to even do a little bit of glazing. Glazing is an absolutely wonderful technique as well. It's something that I like to do all the time to bring out my colors, maybe darken them a little bit more, darken them just a little bit up here. So I like the way that red looks. Gives it a nice edge. I can also just, you know, overpaint areas that I don't like. You know, overpainting, glazing, scumbling, they're all traditional painting options that acrylic artists use all the time, and they're great options. But if you're painting with interactive, you have another option too. You can also continue to work wet and wet simply by using the unlocking formula. The unlocking formula was developed specifically for interactive. It's isopropyl alcohol based with added preservatives and it's designed to be sprayed onto your touch dry interactive painting when water doesn't work anymore. Usually this is going to be after about three to four hours, definitely the next day, days later. By using the unlocking formula, you want to spray just enough so that your fingers kind of glide on the surface. And what will happen is that the unlocking formula will reopen those surface layers, allowing you the ability to actually go back in and feather your edges. You can adjust. If I want to even do some sgraffito effects and maybe scratch back into my paint a little bit, I can do that. That's pretty neat. Wouldn't be able to do that with you know, conventional acrylics the next day. You know, if there were sections I'd even like, rather than just overpainting, I can just even remove layers of my painting to get back down to my underpainting below. And you can do this up until the time that your interactive painting cures. There we go. You can kind of see how I've got my transparent red oxide underlayer. So now, I can just develop that the way that I want. Now, whenever I use my interactive acrylics for plein air, I always like to take a bottle of the unlocking formula with me. Plein air painting can be very challenging with the sun and with the wind, so you'll want to take a bottle, of course, of, of water, but take along a bottle of the unlocking formula too, just in case water doesn't reopen the paint to your satisfaction. Now it's good to remember that when you want to reopen those paint layers, always start with water, but if water doesn't work, that's when it's time to try the unlocking formula.